I believe that reimagining the future together, driving an industry of the future today, is an appropriate theme for this year's event, as it encourages introspection and captures the spirit of shared aspiration to mold a brighter future together. As government, we value innovation. We value collaboration because we believe they can move the sector forward and pave the path for a more sustainable and technologically advanced future. The performance of the South African automotive industry is contingent upon a strategic collaboration between the sector and government in order to foster the growth and advancement of the industry, but particularly in the realm of manufacturing. Therefore, the growth of the manufacturing sector must be sustained as it serves as a foundation of both social and economic development. I think it's an important program director for us to emphasize that it is a correct policy, as the Deputy Minister was saying. Uh, it is a po correct policy for us to be able uh, to give incentive to the automotive sector to be able to continue uh, to produce uh, vehicles here in South Africa. As a result of its connection throughout the economy manufacturing's multiplier effects are higher than in most of the other sectors. As government, we understand the importance of a thriving automotive industry in terms of being a large-scale employer, the largest manufacturing sector in the country's economy, and a very successful exporter. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, although the domestic new vehicle market in 2022 was still on its recovery from the pre-COVID-19 levels. The industry actually excelled on the export side with several records. South African vehicle and automotive component exports reached a record 227.3 billion rents in 2022 representing 12.4% of total exports, with vehicle exports reaching 157 billion rands and automotive component exports reaching 70.3 billion rands. South African total automotive trade under the APDP2, including exports and imports, amounted to 435 billion rands in 2022 and comprised a significant 16.5% of South Africa's total trade GDP. In today's rapidly evolving global economy, it is imperative that we take a moment to deeply contemplate and appreciate the immense potential that lies in the harmonious convergence of effective industrial policy and the influx of foreign direct investments. Investment by the seven original equipment manufacturers, OEMs, with technology embodied in the investment and promoting domestic value addition, amounted to 7.1 billion rents in 2022, while the component sector received investments of 4.5 billion rands. Around the beginning of July, I was in Roslyn. I was invited by BMW, uh, and they announced at that time that BMW will be investing an additional 4.2 billion rands to manufacture a plug-in hybrid version 
of the next generation of their iconic X3 SUV for 2024. BMW team further informed me that the Roslin plant will make both petrol and diesel powered X3s and it will be the only BMW plant in the world that makes the hybrid. So ladies and gentlemen, this is a very important step for the country and we must continue creating favorable conditions to attract more investments uh, and opportunities such as this in our country. Ladies and gentlemen, these announcements are encouraging and they show a lot of faith in our economy despite the difficulties we have been facing, particularly since COVID-19. Those who have invested in South Africa over the years have our deepest gratitude and we are sure prospective investors that the country is open for business and that as government we will do everything in our power to safeguard and improve the value of your assets for the foreseeable future. As I have mentioned before, South Africa's industrialized economy recovered faster than expected from COVID-19 pandemic. However, we recognize that there are, un there are uneven levels of recovery across sectors. So we are determined to provide as government needed support across sectors towards a thriving economy. Ladies and gentlemen, to facilitate a fair and equitable transition it is imperative to localize and broaden the scope of domestic manufacturing, value addition, and components for the new energy vehicles. In my opinion, it would be unjust for the automotive manufacturing transition to occur without preserving current employment, but also increasing employment. The global automotive industry at present is at important crossroads. OEMs will need to accelerate their development of the new energy vehicle business while simultaneously running the legacy of the internal combustion engine vehicle business. This is because of the eminent demand for eco-friendly vehicles in traditional markets, which means that the transition to new energy vehicles is inevitable for the export-oriented domestic automotive industry. And it will need to commence with making significant investments in innovation a new energy vehicle technology. So we can't avoid this. To achieve this business model, duality, OEMs as well as their component suppliers will need to make dramatic changes and fundamentally reshape their businesses. Shape, reshape their business models, configuration, capabilities, but also corporate culture. Therefore, as government and private sector, we must invest more in the skills needed, such as technical skills, expertise in the Internet of Things, machine performance, data drive automation, insight and intelligence, etc. Together, as government and the industry, we should consider how to create practical, mutually beneficial, and executable plans that will drive the electromobility revolution that is conducive to the expansion of our own economy. We must create new jobs, 
that are cutting edge and provide exciting employment opportunities, particularly for young people. All these ambitions that we have are possible if we can come together and collectively define the program of our efforts towards socio-economic transformation of our country. Attaining a prosperous South Africa is indeed the responsibility of all of us. We must continue to strengthen these partnerships and advance towards a nation that is embedded in social compacts for the greater good. We are continuing on this journey with you and I'm convinced that we will succeed. Thank you very much.